Uh, it all came in, in one. When, when Roger told his production staff that he wanted me to produce it, his production staff then said to him, well, we want to pick the director and writers. And he's like, he gave them a time certain that they were going to tell him or I was going to get it done. <laughs> okay, now was Mark Jones involved in any way? I, you would come on board? I don't recall ever meeting him. I, uh, if we did, it was in passing because I don't have a great impression of ever meeting the man. Um, I, I remember uh, there was an issue with his credits because of uh, continuing series, but that was all handled internally at Trimark's legal department. Do you remember how much of a budget Leprechaun 2 had? Oh, I should have looked it up. It, it, it was just over, uh, it was under $2 million. Um, I'd be guessing. I want to say it was somewhere in the neighborhood of 1.5 or 6. And was Warwick excited about go coming back to the character? I don't know. I can tell you about Warwick, though, is uh, his agent was nobody's fool. And he knew we were making a sequel. So he wanted some money for Warwick. Warwick was making very little money on the first picture. Uh, the Screen Actors Guild has a... a a schedule of minimums. Uh, you, if you hire an actor, you have to pay a minimum per day, a minimum per week, and they also have a picture deal, which you pay them one flat sum for the whole movie. Uh, on that recent film, uh, The Wolf of Wall Street, people are familiar with Jonas Hill working for $65,000. That's the minimum picture deal that SAG offers. It was pretty close to that back in the day. Um, it was somewhere around 65 or so for the whole picture. So I'm trying to get Warwick on a scale picture deal for a continuing successful series. And I had never met the man and I'd never seen his work. I was just coming into this uh, running a budget and a schedule for Roger Burlidge. So I'm saying to the agent, uh, well, if he doesn't want to do it, don't do it. I'll just hire somebody else. I said, there must be very many talented uh, young actors uh, who could play a, a leprechaun in this movie that, that want to do it. Boy, was I wrong. Um, after having met Warwick, I could tell you, the guy's a brilliant actor. Uh, everything that makes that leprechaun character work is not written in the script. It's the actor bringing it. Uh, he's an amazing actor. George Lucas, after uh, he had worked with him the first time, put him on something like a lifetime retainer or something. I, I know that when I was with him, and, and we're going back a long time here, more than 20 years, he, he was receiving an annual stipend from George Lucas just to be available for future projects. I think they did Willow and, and a few other things together. Um, the agent uh, took the offer. If he hadn't, boy, would that film have been a disaster. Warwick Davis is an amazing actor. But, but also, if the agent wouldn't have accepted our offer, we would have had to move forward without him because there wasn't enough space under $2 million to pay for everything. I wonder who it would have been back then. When the English wrestling wasn't, we didn't really serve until late 90s. I can tell you my casting director kept saying, close the deal. Close the deal. <laughs> she was not looking forward to the prospect of having to find an actor of his skill level. He's an amazing actor. 